Other news, Cape Cod's population, as we know, mm. explodes in the summer with visitors enjoying some of the world's most beautiful beaches. But with all those people and a rise in full-time residents on the Cape, comes more human waste. And even after it goes through a treatment plant, it's causing some issues in our waterways. As WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff shows us, one town is taking on the problem on the land and in the sea. An overcast and foggy day on Cape Cod. Our journey begins along the Mashpee River to find muck that's choking the life out of this once healthy ecosystem. The pollution here is primarily nitrogen pollution, which is direct, coming directly from our septic systems. The town's Department of Natural Resources director, Ashley Fisher, says these waters have been on a steady decline since the 1980s, when the Cape became more of a destination. Homes were built, but never a sewer system. And that has led to harmful nutrients from wastewater seeping into the river. Back in the 60s and 70s, there was a summer camp in the Mashpee River. There was sandy shoreline, sandy bottom. People were able to swim. All of the nitrogen that has come in year after year, and these algae blooms that have set year after year, it's accumulated to almost eight feet oh. of this muck. I put on waders to get a first-hand look for myself and realize the problem right away. What am I stepping into? This isn't, this isn't a beach. This isn't mud. It, it feels different. What is this? So this is what we call algal flock. Decades of algae blooms have sunk to the bottom and created... It's basically black mayonnaise muck. I mean, and it doesn't smell. It just smells like an earthy... Sure. Yeah. Organic smell. I mean, you can... It smells like anything in the water. There's no life left. The species diversity is gone. Um, the species that we do typically see in here are species that are able to withstand low oxygen levels for an extended period of time. To help mitigate the problem, the town, in coalition with the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe, has spent years planting millions of oysters in the water every year. Some oyster condos are now abandoned in the Mashpee River. But others are flourishing further along the waterway in the Pompanesset Bay. And this is what's called an oyster condo. Dozens of the condos can be seen lined up from the sky. The bivalves act as filters, absorbing the excess nitrogen and phosphorus, incorporating it into their shells, and cleaning up the water. So these really are the, the workers that are doing all the effort right now? Correct. What do we have right here? These are oysters, or eastern oysters. They're able to filter up to 50 gallons of water per day. This effort is helping, and it allows the Wampanoag and others to harvest and sell the shellfish, which are safe to eat. Oh, you gotta keep the juice. You want to the juice. Yes. <laughs> All right, cheers. There you go, delicious. But these creatures can only help so much. From the studies and the results that we've seen, it it is significant in their removal. It's just that we need more of them in the area. And that's where another effort comes in. The town of Mashpee has allocated more than $50 million to start phase one of a sewer system and treatment plant. More than 400 homes will be converted to start, and hopefully that change will begin to heal the majestic waters. And while that sewer project is a great first step, it's still gonna take years to complete. In the meantime, Mashpee will continue to expand their program of putting quahogs and oysters in these waters. In the Mashpee River, I'm meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. Wow.